Hello everyone, I'm Human Hard Drive, and today I'm going to be showing you a little trick if you're interested in expanding the range of output you can give your Arduino. Um, this is derived from the Arduino Video Game Shield. Uh, it's a really cool shield. If you haven't seen it, I strongly suggest you check it out. What it does is it lets you generate. It's a shield w whose components, among other things, give you the ability to generate video out signals for your television. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So you don't need the entire shield. All you really need are two resistors, uh, two alligator clips, a uh, jumper, and one of these RCA cables, which you will have to dissect. If I can find the end, here it is, for the leads on the inside. So let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, you're going to need two resistors, like I said, one a 1 kilo ohm resistor and the other a 470 ohm resistor. Now the, four, the 1 kilo ohm gets connected to pin 9 and the 470 gets connected to pin 7. Now both of these pins on the Arduino are uh, PWM pins. They've got the little squiggly next to them. It means they're PWM pins. So what this does is it sets up a voltage divider. So I take these, twist them together. They should only touch below the actual components. Then I take the alligator clip and I just grab the end there. There we go. Now I'm going to take the other end of this alligator lead and hook it up to the spliced RCA. Uh, I'm going to splice it into the center one because this is what actually generates the video signal. So what it, this does is it sets up a voltage divider which gives based upon these two pin combinations uh, three voltages. Zero volts, 0.3 volts, and one volt. Zero volts being a sync voltage necessary to keep the TV running. Uh, 0.3 volts to generate the color black and one volt to generate the color white. Now I'm going to take this wire, hook it up into ground so I can set up a voltage reference, hook that into the other alligator lead, and then take that alligator, the other end of the alligator lead, along with the other wire from the RCA cable, and hook it up. And it should look like that. And there you go. So that's all you really need for the hardware. Let's go take a look at the code. Okay, so in order to do this code, there's a library which you need to download and it'll set up some example files so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up and I'm just gonna go ahead and open TV out. TV out's the library you're gonna be using and it you can use it to generate two different kinds of television signals NTSC and PAL. Now if you're in America you're probably using an NTSC signal if you're elsewhere uh, you might be using PAL but I suggest checking your country code to find out. So here it is and it, the great thing about this library is it sets out, up all of the timings needed using some very clever math, a lot of low-level assembly stuff, really great stuff. And it, it's really cool, all the stuff you can do. You can draw images they have here, uh, basic shapes, and in the code I'm going to show you on the TV, just it gives you a whole bunch of stuff as to what this thing can do. So I'll put the link to this in the description but let's go look at what this thing can actually do. Okay, so here we are at my TV. I've got my uh, Arduino set up and hooked into the video, the composite video signal. So if I hit reset, let it go. There we go. So you can see that's the image it generated. You can generate text. And that runs through its little Stick. You can draw shapes. And this is their final thing. They've got random cube rotation. So this is all being generated just by that tiny amount of code. And it's a really cool what you can do. So if you wanted to add this to a project, that's this is a little trick to do it. Uh, the video game shield I mentioned, I think I actually have 
lying around somewhere. See if I can find it. I had to disassemble, for lack of a better word, to get some stuff for it. But here's the video game shield. Um, again, this is a really cool shield. It not only does the video um, the video stuff, but it also takes um, nunchuck input. You know the uh, Wii nunchuck controllers. You can input those too to read from the uh, read from those. So you can do some pretty cool video games with it. So that's really it. It's a cool trick if you wanted to add television generation to your Arduino project. So that's really it.